campus's central steam and chilled water plant. Nobody pays any attention to this building, but it's actually super essential, especially when you start thinking about sustainability. This is where all of our buildings are centrally heated and cooled. It's actually a very efficient way to heat and cool buildings on a campus like ours so that you can concentrate the efforts in one place instead of having separate boilers that you have to maintain separately in every single building. And that's what this portal is too. It's it's a portal to the, uh, the steam and, and the chilled water piping that runs throughout our campus and heats and cools our buildings. But what's really important from a sustainability perspective here is that this is the only place on campus where we're burning a whole lot of fossil fuels even to this day. Sure, we burn them in our vehicles and maybe a little bit in your Bunsen burner, but other than that, the main uh, burning of fossil fuels is happening right here. The good story is that we used to burn a truckload of coal from Eastern Kentucky. We'd blow up people's backyards in Appalachia, take that coal to here, we'd fill up our silo here and burn a truckload of coal every day to keep our buildings warm in the winter. Well, in 2010, we switched over to natural gas, which is much cleaner burning, no more of that particulate matter that we used to have to worry a lot about, and a lot less greenhouse gas emissions, but it's still a fossil fuel, and we know that that natural gas is coming from fracking in places like Oklahoma and Pennsylvania and causing man-made earthquakes and other environmental problems. We need to move away from natural gas, and ultimately, the kind of solution we probably need for this thing is a biodigester, where we're taking organic wastes and sewage and putting them in an anaerobic environment, making methane that we then use to spin the turbines or make the heat.